Alright, so I got this uh, amp clamp here that I picked up really cheap on eBay. I managed to snipe it in an auction. Um, don't expect much from it, so let's take a look and see just how cheap can you get uh, with these meters. I think I snagged it for around $5 uh, shipped. But uh, yeah, let's take a look. So the leads are, uh, you know, about what I expect. Uh, just cheap, you know, they feel cheap, uh, like PVC, they're obviously not a silicone insulation. Uh, I mean, they're not, uh, not all that great. We'll just undo them and take a look. But these seem a lot like the leads that you get with those, uh, what are they, DT, um, 803 meters, I believe they are. And, yeah, I mean, that just... It feels cheap and, you know, it's just cheap plastic. Um, so these are absolute crap. I wouldn't be using these, you know, for uh, every everyday use uh, in a high voltage or uh, high power environment. Luckily, though, with uh, an amp clamp, if you're actually using it... Uh, as such, you don't need the leads, you're clamping around the wire. So let's uh, test a couple things out here. First, just check out the uh, things like the continuity and that. Oh, that is really crusty and awful sounding. <laughs> Yeah, not latch. Don't really expect that out of something like this, though. Um, what were we getting for reading there? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, next I'll go grab some resistors, and let's try actually measuring some resistance with it. A quick look on my desk revealed I had a bag of 10 ohm resistors and these 10K trim pots. So, let's take a look at them, and... Uh, see how it does. just has the one resistance setting so uh, it should not uh, I'm assuming that it's not auto ranging at all so that these here will just be uh, too small to, to really read. Yeah that is exactly the case. And there we go. 10.01 so that's about what I'd expect um, you know that'd be within within the spec but uh, pretty pretty useless I mean generally an amp clamp you don't use it uh, you know as an everyday multimeter so same thing with the uh, DC voltage there's just the uh, one range so I mean we'll try reading this 9 volt battery that I had laying on my desk and uh, there you go, nine volts. So there's no, uh, there's just not enough resolution there at the lower, lower end. But that's the only setting it has. Uh, I'm not going to hook it up to uh, high voltage AC either. I don't, uh, I don't trust it. And uh, take a look in. Uh, well, actually, we'll test out the current, I guess, first, and then take a look at it. Uh, inside. So I just thought first off I'd say that with these amp clamps uh, just in case you're not familiar with them that is the incorrect way uh, of hooking them up. You can't hook it up around the entire wire like this. Um, you do clamp it on but not the whole thing because uh, in this case you have both conductors you know power going both ways together uh, passing through here, through this, uh, there'll be a current transformer here, and uh, that's what you're going to wind up reading instead of the current flowing. Is you're going to wind up with the difference between the two, which uh, should be zero unless you have a short somewhere going to ground, which uh, will actually have the ground wire in here too. So that uh, that won't really help. So unless you uh, have it shorting going off somewhere else 
uh, with an alternate path to ground, uh, you're not going to read anything. So I've got a, uh, a transformer here, and the leads break out so you can clamp around just the one wire there. So now we'll take a, a reading. The transformer is hooked up to a small load. It's an uh, extremely inefficient transformer, so I expect there to be a, a fairly, fairly good size input load. So I have it on the 20 amp setting here, and we'll see what happens. So as you can see, we're getting, uh, well, it just keeps climbing and climbing, uh, you know, as it heats up there. But uh, it's not meant for continuous duty, so you're getting a couple, couple amps there. And for anybody that was curious what I was using for a load on the uh, transformer, it was just this stuff here. It's some cantle wire. It has high resistance. And that's the, uh, the loop I was using between the leads there, just that little short piece. So, all right, now for the good part. You know, Cat 2, 600 volts. I'm not thinking so. The uh, connector there to go onto the zebra strip for the LCD and the uh, range switch, which is pretty cheap and cheesy there. <clears throat> so as you can see, these uh, the uh, banana plugs there or banana posts are just pretty pretty how you doing. But uh, when we take a look, coming up around through a resistor network, and then look at the clearance there. There's next to no clearance uh, in the event that there was uh, some sort of an issue. I'm not sure. Well, I guess that is some clearance, but you got, looks like that would be the, the input protection way up here, not down by the input. Uh, I mean, at that point, it's just a, a total fail. It looks like that's your PTC. That's supposed to be the input protection. Uh, not seeing any anything special in there. They gooped that up. It would have been nice to have seen what it is. I'm guessing it's probably uh, one of those intersil chips. I don't remember the exact part number, but... Uh, Basically, uh, it's a uh, ADC converter with a uh, built-in uh, LCD display driver in it, so you can get them to either drive LCD displays, or they do make a, a model that will display or uh, drive um, seven-segment LED displays as well. So there you go. It's uh, cheap build quality. No big surprise there. Um, I mean, yeah. Accuracy, I'm not too sure about. Um, I haven't done tests myself. Somebody else I did see had done a fairly good lineup and actually uh, <clears throat> of cheap multimeters and uh, compared them. I'm not sure how the some he didn't do any of these cheap amp clamps, so I'm not sure how it stands up. But uh, yeah, I mean it's it's a piece of junk. But uh, I don't have an amp clamp, so. Uh, I might keep it around for a little bit, just uh, 
to give me some ballpark figures. Uh, uh, seeing as how it uses a current transformer, just in case you don't already know, that means it only works with AC current. It's not a uh, hull based sensor, um, which some of the more expensive uh, amp clamps have and will measure DC current. This one won't, it only works with AC. The, uh, the voltage doesn't matter, it's, uh, it's a current transformer, it needs alternating, uh, an alternating current, but uh, voltage isn't important, just the current running through the wire. Until next time.